I'm Matt Glover, Special Advisor to President, University of North Florida. It's where I am currently um, employed. Uh, former sheriff of, of Jacksonville, Florida. Served two terms as sheriff here from 1995 to 2003. Certainly it was an honor for me to be uh, the first African-American sheriff elected in the state of Florida since 1888. I take that honor and I really feel good about it and and um, when you look at uh, that type of honor you kind of assure yourself of a place in history but I would always like to think of my election as sheriff as kind of uh, an indication of how far Jacksonville has come and and the uh, how honored I feel people of Jacksonville elected me share and I just think that Jacksonville is a special place I'm not sure Jacksonville knows how special uh, they are when you look at uh, cradles of, of places where you might say that African Americans have actually progressed um, in the state of Florida Jacksonville may not be the first city that comes to mind and uh, you probably be talking about Central Florida and South Florida and some of the areas that's perceived to be the most progressive but uh, the distinction of electing the first African-American sheriff since Reconstruction uh, goes to Jacksonville and uh, I just would like all the citizens of Jacksonville to be proud of that because um, while I am the re recipient of that place in history, I think more importantly, it is uh, a great honor and distinction for North Florida. I'm not sure that um, you get prepared to say, I want to be the first to do this, that, or the other. When I was uh, in high school, I'm not certain that, um, that I can't remember any of my teachers ever saying that you can be a sheriff, a mayor, or maybe uh, the president, but uh, I do remember them saying that you could be a doctor, a lawyer, um, a teacher, a principal, and those were usually positions that were held by African Americans at the time. One could make a, a compelling case that um, it takes a, a high level of courage to say, you know, I think this is something I want to do and I think I can get it done and um, at some point that did happen to me I, I just felt like that um, I was a point in my life and after having been encouraged by a number of people in the community that um, maybe um, this could happen and, um, and it did happen now there are some um, risk in being a first and um, and, and one of the things that I think is most compelling when you uh, first is that um, you're cognizant of the fact that uh, you got to get it right. Um, you can't make any mistake. You just want to make certain that you um, leave um, a record where someone can come behind you. And that legacy um, is important. We are on the threshold of, of historic first. And um, we got two um, prominent uh, uh, political figures. Um, one's a female, and other an African American, and they are certainly viable, knowledgeable, and creditable um, candidates. And that's the way this country sees them. And let me just say that's a clear indication of how far this country has come. And um, and we all should be uh, proud of that. But, um, but not only that, um, these individuals um, will, will, will need support, they will need encouragement and, 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 and motivation. And, and we need to make certain that we are, we are conscious of, of that and make certain that uh, we, um, we, are, we, are, we are there. But they have uh, the pressure on them too to get it right. And that's the parallel because their mistakes, their shortcomings that might be overlooked and just wanked at by another candidate 
will be blown up and amplified when they uh, do the same things.